scale, the variety, particularly on Guardians of the Galaxy, is something I'd never seen before. We picked up five characters that I knew nothing about. The casting brings a huge factor to all these characters because it's not just the, the face or the shape of people, it's their physicality, it's how they move. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how this machine worked. For Quill, we were asked to design a number of props. We had to produce his blasters, which had a, a lethal round from it, which was done in CGI. He has a plasma ball, which is almost a torch that he shakes and then produces an immense amount of light, so he goes into a vault and illuminates the whole set with it. I always feel that the weapons have got to be part of the costume. If they're wearing a weapon, it, it belongs, and that's particularly a case with Quill. I'm surrounded by the biggest idiots in the universe. Gamora is a new character, so she had to have a sword, but she had to look quite sleek. Zoe being cast brings a huge amount. You've obviously got a very beautiful actress with an amazing body, so that, that means you can take it in, in many more ways than maybe you would otherwise. We produced something that was probably only about 12 inches long, which clipped to a belt. You looked at it, you didn't quite know what it was. And then with CGI's assistance, she flicks it out, it turns into a full-length sword. Metaphors are gonna go over his head. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. I would catch it. The character drafts we had to produce a pair of swords. The challenge there was to try and find something that suited David. We had to find something that didn't look like a toothpick on him because he's, he is huge. We went through five different scales for him, eventually planning on something that was about 19 inches long, so it was governed by the length of his leg. So we had to produce scabbers which fitted into the boots. Very, very specific trousers. Very specific. As you say, we're only dressing half the body, maybe, but what a body. Oh, what the hell? I don't got that long a lifespan anyway. Character Rocket is a busy little bee, really, because he makes things from whatever he can find, so in, in this ship, so in the Milano. So he creates this Hadron Enforcer, a weapon which fires a, a nuclear or atomic warhead, but only explode and take out something in a 10-foot 10, 10 diameter. That was probably the most difficult prop we had to make because it had to be made so to fit Quill, Drax, and Rocket to assemble it. And we also made this tiny little weenie bomb, which again, he's supposed to be making up just from spare parts. I think it's very exciting, you know, when, when people actually come on the set for the first time and you see, you know, everything coming together. Look back at other movies that have been made in the past, and I'm sure people are going to like them to. This is nothing like any movie that's been made. Marvel, your universe.